Okay, what's up, guys? So, Bottom Tex has making uh has has making has made a video or upload a video, made a video. I don't know. I, I I would assume he made this video. Uh, the race, but it's produced by Outcast. We gotta see about this, cause Outcast and then um Tay they don't really mix. But let's 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 see. Let's see. Wow. I mean, hey, definitely some meme music. Imagine if uh, Outkast, like, during the time this came out, and if Tay K was, like, old enough, because, wait, that song came out, like, 2003, so he was, like, three years old and stuff when this song came out. I was, like, I think I was seven. Seven or eight. I can't, yeah, I, I, seven or seven, seven, yep, it was definitely, I think I was seven at that time, but anyways, like, yeah, imagine Tay-K, he walks out and stuff, and then he's rapping the race, and then, like, Hey Ya was just such, like, a chill, outcast song and things, and so it's like, you can't really blend Tay-K than that, like, Hey Ya and stuff, and then think, okay, that's gonna be good, because it's like, if he had walked out, I'd be like, bruh, this ain't outcast. Like, this is, like, no, what is this? This ain't normal. This is not normal. It fits, though. I swear, man. Like, can people, I swear, when rappers, when they be doing that, because even, I think, X, he did that, and they be doing all them signs, and I'm like, I can't do that. Like, there's like, y'all watch, uh, what was it, was it Naruto, they'd be doing that, and they had, like, all the, like, hand motions and stuff. I'm like, I can't do all of that, man. My mind capacity just can't hold that all in, so it would definitely take a lot of practice. Like, you would gotta teach me, like, I do a step-by-step -step thing to teach me that. I wonder if he's ever gonna get out of prison. Cause it seemed like they are like they said he might be facing life. They are like I think they said somebody was gonna rat him out or do something. It's like people living that high risk life. And, uh come with the price. And it's like he, and it's like it's crazy how it's like all this music is coming out. It's like, can, can you? I don't think you can make music in prison. Like, I think they get like, they are like, unless you're in like some high end prison where you can do that, but. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy how he made that, this song while he was on the run. Like, that's crazy. But yeah, it's like. You know, you have to, uh, it's like, I, the thing is, though, if Tay K does get out of, uh, prison, or out of jail, instead of prison, jail, whatever they want to call it, if he does get out, it's like, bro, you cannot live that high-risk life, like, you have to, you have to focus, because it's like, so many things happen afterwards, and it's like, bro, if you get out, like, make that your first I don't even know how many times he's been in jail or prison, whatever you want to call it, but make that your last time. Like, focus on music. Focus on yourself, okay? Because it's like, honestly, you have a crowd. They want to continue on watching you. There are people still supporting him till this day. There's people I still hear till this day saying, free take K. And it's like, bro, when you get out, focus on nothing but the music, okay? Focus on improving yourself, bettering yourself. Cause I feel like I feel like it is it's in him. He could definitely do it. He can definitely do it. Be one of the next biggest rappers, okay? I mean he was yeah, he was pretty big, but it's like he didn't even get to enjoy it because he was in jail most of the time. So I really do hope like if the, like all of this stuff, 
Like, it's not, it wasn't his fault. Like, it wasn't on him, and he was just one of those people that was there. But since he was just the one that everybody was focused on, and of course, everything was put the, like, put the blame on him and stuff. So it's like, if you're behind any of this stuff, but it's like, also on the other hand, like, you out here living wrong, and like I said, living that rough lifestyle is going to come with the price. So it's like, you know, the thing is, it's just, if you honestly, truly trying to better yourself, okay? then you have to just focus 100% on yourself, okay? Like, you can't live that high-risk life no more. You can't be going out there doing some crazy things. Like, even if he was like, okay. My thing is, though, it's just like with TK is that you were making music, I guess, previously before. And it's just like, then you do this robbery thing. And it's just like, bro, you can't just... I, I would never do something like that, all right? It's like, I'm never going to go do some robbery or go out, put myself where I'm out on the running things to try to like gain fame for myself. Cause it's either that or faking it. And it's like, obviously he ain't gonna fake it. So it's like, this just no bro. You gotta do it the hard way. Okay, you gotta be putting work and time into what you're doing. So it's like, yeah, the thing is, it's like, if he would have never like, you know, became this person where it's just like he made a music video and a song while he was out on the run and stuff then it's like you know he obviously he wouldn't have had the no jumper song and then all the other popular songs that he did but it's like you know it's just like i said if you if, if he does get out focus 100 percent on the music okay can't have that no more because it's like i really want like nothing i want nothing but good for the people on earth but it's like if you're going to just continue on living that high risk lifestyle then it's just like you got to pay that price, and it's like, if you spend your life in prison, then it's like, hey, that's on you, bro. That is all on you. So anyways, subscribe to Bottom Text for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me, too, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.